Hello everyone, welcome back to Survival Challenge. So in today's M Zone, we have a few things planned, not not too much. Just a couple things around the house that we gotta get done. First of all, we're gonna get the track running through here and through the woods. Uh, last M Zone, we cut the trees down. Oh look, deer. So we should just be able to make a path right through here for our backfield. This is where we're going to probably put some chickens or, you know, pigs, cows, whatever it may be. Probably chickens to start with. Probably one of the easier animals, I, I would say. For now, it's probably just going to be a grass field until we're able to pay for that. So we'll have to do the cut these. Down. That way uh, we can actually make a path through here good. This is the uh, lumberjack mod if you Haven't heard of that. I'm sure most people probably have Get this out of the way I tried to make a little pile of the trees over here So let's uh, well, let's go over here and we'll start from this direction. I have never used the landscaping in here. Um, that's why I said in the last video, it's a decorated landscaping, painting, that what I'll do is technically it's labeled as free right now, but it won't be. So we probably want a little bit smaller. That's probably about right. I always make it bigger. It's easier to make it bigger than it is smaller. So yeah, the plan was to uh, basically it'll be free from the beginning, but I'll end up taking the money out of the account. Let's see here, probably right in here. Oh boy, I'm not sure if I'll time lapse this or like cut it. We'll see. I'm never quite quite certain until I make it to the post production. Well, let's try to sneak through here. I'll have to round some of these edges a little too. So I was thinking I would just call it at like, you know, 200 bucks or something like that. I'm not quite sure how much it actually does cost for this, so. Nothing too far, I guess, but I don't don't think I missed any spots in there. Let's grab is it V? Yeah. Do a little bit of the angle. I gotta say, it doesn't look too bad from here. Exit out. Looks looks too, not too bad for a beginner. Looks like I could probably do this side a little bit better. Looks, doesn't look too bad. So some bushes and stuff to clean up in here. But it's not too bad. I'll have to uh, quickly take the money out. And there you go. As you see, 200 for miscellaneous. There. I, I don't know if it'll actually cost 200. I figured that was a good round number for it. So next thing I am thinking we're probably going to buy a mower. We're going to get that started, I would say, right now. Tools. Mowers. Um... Looks like this is probably the best option for our tractor. I would like to get the that one. It's wider width to it, but it's a hundred horse. So this is our best option here. Let's see what kind of you got anything special for the customization. There's a cover. Uh oh, it's two hundred bucks. For, oh, yes. Well, I have the cover. Be, to be safe, we'll have a, have a cover on it. Go ahead, buy that. Down to 4,000. Also, uh, probably by the end of the episode, we'll have to refill the 
greenhouse. We already got what five pallets of mushrooms. Pretty dang good. Have to sell those at some point in the in the near future. Let's get on the M and we'll have to head down to the store. Pick up our new purchase. So as I've mentioned in the past, the whole idea with the mower is to eventually do silage. Whether it'll be bales or a uh, silage pit, I have not decided. I'll have to look at what kind of, if there's a mod for silage pits, what kind of mods they have. Because the base game ones are uh, pretty expensive the last I looked. And we're not gonna, we're not close to being able to afford that and a loading wagon, everything needed for that type of setup. <laughs> Even a bale or baler, all that, that, that's still a ways out too. The hope is with the mushrooms, we'll be able to hit that sooner rather than later. And plus we'll also have the crop coming up here shortly. I think that's about a, I think it's about a month, a month and a half out, something like that. Last I looked, we'll see how the crop, yeah. It's like a darkish green, too off from the darkish, darkest for growing. I'm not sure how close that is to being done. Here we are, pulling up to the store. See our nice mower over there. Hopefully I'm pulling up to the right side. Yeah, it looks all right. I should have got it red. So we got we got the red trailer. Why not have a red uh, red mower? But but that probably would have cost more. I know a lot of them have a uh, uh, cost more for different paint jobs. It's uh, right now, you know, two hundred bucks on paint. It just ain't worth it. Well, we just got back to the farm. First time driving the, the tractor on the new uh, new road. See, uh, see how we like it in here. Yeah, it looks it looks wide enough from here. Might have to cut cut a little bit more into that angle, a little more rounded. Might have to make it a little bit bigger if we get bigger tractors in the future. There's a pile of logs. I'm I don't remember if I said anything about that. Oh, uh, found a stump. Get off and take care of that before we hit it. It's X to go down and okay. The grass is looking pretty good. I'm not sure how close I'll get to the woods. More than likely, I'm not sure how far out we're, we're from animals, but we might end up plowing some of this up. This is a lot for grass. I'm not sure how much I'll even show on uh, show on camera. We're, we're not even to the border of our field. So we'll have to probably stop there. And just make a make a very large circle or squarish rectangle. That's probably be more accurate. So yeah, also I'd like to mention the um, the mushrooms for the greenhouse. Um, they are worth a lot. So what I was thinking to make it not 
easy on us. My thought would be to cut, not sell them all, all the time and just only focus on that because that would just kind of make it not fun. So my thought is if we desperately need, we can sell one here and there. So right now there's five at it. And I'll just try not to, uh, try not to go to our neighbor's land. So, if, you know, if we're saving for something cool or a new production or, you know, chickens, cows, whatever, that stuff, then, you know, we'll probably use some of it for that. But I just don't want to, you know, because we sold everything that we had right now, we'd have in the bank 16 grand. Like, that's, that's doing pretty good for five days into the series where we're at now, so... That's my thought. I don't want to make it too easy on us. So, like, we might sell one coming up. Uh, or we might sell what, what I have now. Because I'll probably get a uh, front loader for this coming up at some point. Try not to try to line this up here. Might make the track a little bit longer. We'll see. This is a lot of grass. We're gonna make a lot of money just from this field in silage. And plus we'll probably put it towards the baler and stuff right now. Or harvester, actually. Harvester is more important than the baler. Because I kind of want to get that sorghum up. Yeah, I, uh, I'll try not to waste you guys' time too much. I'll probably time lapse some of this. Then I'll probably cut some of it as well. That way we're not just sitting in a time lapse for... Oh, I think... Oh. I'm new, I swear. So I'll catch you guys at the other end of the, the time lapse cut where I'm going to end up doing... basically done I'm just doing this a little bit right around here we're right on the edge of the land I don't want to go too far otherwise we won't be able to collect our our work so it, it took a good half hour 40 minutes to do this whole field it's definitely on the list for a bigger more but for the the size of our farm right now the smaller is pretty good size for where we're at right now. As you can see, we got a lot, a lot of grass to pick up. I'm probably going to look at some mods for uh, loading wagons, forager wagons. Because it look like um, the silage pits are like 10 grand from what the little bit I looked. The one, like one or two mods I have installed right now. You see the the M uh, the M got pretty dirty. <laughs> it's all covered in green. Go ahead and put this in the barn here. This is kind of becoming a, a catch-all. Basically, it's putting everything here. Yeah, as you can see, I took the bag of seed out of the trailer. 
It's more than likely, um... We're probably gonna sell some logs. Put this in the back. I'm thinking selling some logs, or what the little logs that we had cut. And probably buying a front loader, I'm thinking. The, 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 the crop is still a little ways out until harvest. So we'll have a little bit more time to get back the, or get back the money that we need. So right here. The old M did good though. Even the seat's dirty. Ah, dang. Have to wash her up when I can. Oh, I almost, I almost lost the, the logs. So yeah, these are pretty good size. So we'll cut a couple small ones to put right in the bottom. And there we go. The trailer's full. We still got this big uh, tree here still to cut up. But as you can see, the trailer's pretty full. Oh, I gotta start her up. I bring this down to the store. This will hopefully pay for the pallet fork and the loader. Also, the front loader attacher. Uh, so I'm thinking at least for the foreseeable future, the next, I don't know, 10 episodes or so. Before we get bigger and bigger tractors, the ammo will probably be our front loader tractor. Because once we get the next one, then we're not concerned about it. Does it have a front loader attacher or not? Definitely a pretty good uh, sized load, though. I didn't cut all the branches, huh? Here we are, pulling up to the store. I gotta say, this is the more comfortable ride. I got a nice little backrest. The tree is literally ra resting right up next to my back. A lot better than the one time I had it going through my head, but... Go ahead and sell these. Got on the selling point. I'm assuming we gotta... Oh. Unlatch her all. Didn't fall off too much, not too much. Explodey. Two grand, not too bad. So that, that probably won't quite 100% pay for the front loader. Actually, I should probably... Drop this here. And we'll see if we can find the uh, customization part for this, this store here. I never really looked. That's an animal dealer. That's gas. Oh, look at her. I'm surprised they even let us put this thing in there. So here we are. This is the... Repaints two grand Jesus. We'll go ahead and customize. Five hundred bucks. Can I paint it? <laughs> Make it red like everything else. Wheel weights is two hundred. Two hundred. Be seven hundred total. I think we'll do it because I think we'll need the weights. I think we'll do it. Ooh, look at our nice new loader, a loader attacher. It's even colored like the tractor. Already has all the grass all over it. Must have gave us a used one. Let's go ahead. So that was a quickie for the front loader. 
this probably the Q3M 60 horse is what it's meant for. So damn, we don't have enough money. Um. Oh, well, we did. We're gonna take the uh, take the tractor back on home with the trailer, and well, we'll probably end it here. Next episode, we'll get it. Oh shit! Hopefully, nobody's hurt. And we'll have to end the episode here. Next episode, we'll sell some of. Uh, the mushrooms. I have no idea how long this episode will end up being. A lot of it was just cutting grass, so this might be a shorter one. I might end up cutting a lot. We'll find out when I when I get to the editing process of this. So yeah, next episode we'll probably sell our mushrooms. Hopefully Winrow. Hopefully. Uh, harvest is probably not too far off. Yeah, I'll uh, catch you guys in the next episode. Bye.